Welcome to FWC Church Online. So great to have you. My name is Pastor Kate and today we're hanging out at the Adventure Day Camp and it's a nice beautiful summer day. And speaking of summer, we are on week two of summer church and what that looks like is that for July and August, those who have been meeting in person for church are not meeting in the mornings. We're meeting in the evenings at six o'clock at different people's houses. So it's a great time for relationship building and lots of hangout and digging into God's word and praying together. And so if you're interested in doing that, if you're local and you're interested in joining us, we say come on out and you can find all our details on our website, fwcchurch.ca. But for those who are not available to come see us in person, we're glad that we were able to connect with you online. And so right now I'm going to give the chance to quickly uh, pause this video if needed, go grab your Bible, pen and paper, and we're going to dig into what God has to say in his word. So before we begin, let's pray. God, thank you that you care for us, that you are a loving God, God, that you made creation for us to enjoy. And so today, Jesus, we are out in creation enjoying it, and we thank you for your goodness. God, we ask that you speak to us through your word. God, we ask that each of us will get something specific that the Holy Spirit speaks and we can live our, our lives, our next foot out each day, knowing that you are in control. And God, we thank you. We thank you for your goodness. We give it, we give you today in your name. We pray. Amen. So I'm going to be reading from Genesis chapter two, starting in verse four. Last week, we uh, looked at Genesis chapter one and we looked through the whole chapter. Um, so we're going to continue on a little bit in Genesis chapter two starting in verse 4 and I'm only going to read up to verse 7 and we're going to kind of dissect that together. So if you have your Bibles, grab them. I'm going to be reading from the New Living Translation. If you don't have your Bibles, I'll read to you. So here we go. Verse 4. This is the account of the creation of the heavens and the earth. When the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, neither wild plants nor grains were growing on the earth. The Lord God had not yet sent rain to water the earth and there were no people to cultivate the soil. Instead, springs came up from the ground and watered all the land. Then the Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into the man's nostrils, and the man became a living person. And then verse 8 says, Then the Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east, and there he placed the man he had made. In those first few verses, we see that, again, we talked about last week, but we also see this week that God is a creating God. He creates um, and we talked about last week the word Ruha which means um, breath in Hebrew and so his Ruha was speaking life to his creation God created humans from dirt from a with a divine purpose for each one of us and his breath created a caretaker for the world Isn't that neat a caretaker for the world the name Adam in Hebrew means humanity so moving, here's a quick story, like moving to New Brunswick for, for myself, there is an abundance, abundance of artists around here. Like you see jewelry, you see crafts, you see woodworking and paintings. And probably one of my most favorite things is seeing people's creative art in pottery. Um, I've never owned pottery before we moved out here, but now I have a collection growing and that's like my mugs, my pottery mugs that are my favorite to drink my coffee and tea out of. You know, to form clay from the ground into something beautiful, um, that's a purpose. There's a purpose to that artistic, um, or to that artist, what that artist is trying to create. There's a purpose to what they're creating. And we see right here in chapter two that God is an artist. And in verse seven, it says that the Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into the man's nostrils and the man became a living person. You'll notice that in this verse, God, uh, it says formed. It wasn't, it, the God formed the man, just like a potter or an artist. They're forming this art, they're forming the mug, they're forming the bowl. God was working um, with his hands to form mankind with a beautiful purpose in mind. Isn't that, isn't that awesome? Like in Psalms 139 verse 13, one of my favorite parts of this chapter, it says, for you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's room. Again, the word formed. God is an artist and we are his creation. I want you guys to think of that this week or even today actually. After this video is done, I want you to spend some time in meditating on the creation of God, how he created us uh, with such purpose. I wanted to encourage you in taking some quiet time and, uh, and just hearing from what God has to say to you in that. So here's your next steps. 
read all of chapter two of Genesis, uh, see his creation, his artistic work in that chapter, and then ask the Holy Spirit, what are you saying to me? What are you trying to show me in this chapter? And then spend time listening to what the Holy Spirit has to say. And I encourage you to write it down or, or point form it or something, put it in your phone, because then it helps remind you that God is speaking to you and what he has brought, um, what he's saying to you in this chapter. And then I want to encourage you, ask the question, what does this passage mean to me? Why is this so personal to me? You know, God created us individuals. He created mankind. This is the chapter where he created us, he formed us. So I wanna leave that with you. I want you to be able just to take time and rest in Genesis chapter two, play some music, um, meditate, pray, and uh, give it to God this morning or whatever time of day it is for you right now. And as we go out, I'm gonna pray and uh, it's gonna be a great time. God, thank you for your word. God, thank you that you are artistic, that you have um, modeled creation, you have formed creation, and for mankind to be um, an artistic creation out of your love for us, God, that you made us so beautiful. You put so much um, uh, thought to us, so much care to us, so much love into us, God. You formed us, you breathed life into us. Life is a gift. So God, we thank you for the gift of life that you have given us. Today, I ask that you uh, speak speak what you have, um, what you want to speak through us reading chapter two in our own personal time and open up the word to us. Speak clearly. We thank you for your word. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a great week, Church Online, and we hope to see you next week right here.